All right, so I got a whole bunch of stuff here on my table from a company called Freewell. And essentially what all of this is, is lens adapters for your phone. You can see I have a lens right here on my phone. Um, now they make these for iPhones as well, but this is on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. They sent this out to me and I've been using it for almost close to a month now because there's so much stuff here and I had to figure out how to use everything and which environments to use all of these lenses in. But at the end of it all, my general consensus is that this is pretty remarkable stuff here. If you're somebody who wants to take your photography and videography to the next level, maybe you uh, do some kind of freelance work or you have a small business or you take photos for small businesses and you want to use your phone that you have with you because the cameras on here are already pretty incredible. You can take amazing video and photos, but you want to take it maybe to the next step a little bit and be a little bit more professional. This right here is exactly what you're going to want. All right, so now let's talk about exactly what you're getting when you purchase this kit. And it all starts off with the case. So Freewell will send you out this case as part of the kit. And all you got to do is just stick it onto your phone. And you can see it has these little camera adapters for your lenses. Now, some of these lenses like this one are just magnetized. You just stick them onto your phone like that. And that's it. You're pretty much good to go. And the magnets on here are pretty strong. You don't need to worry about these falling off. But then there are other lenses that you need to screw in. So you can see they have these little adapters right here. And all you got to do is just twist the lens on and you're good to go. Now, one thing I got to say, I got to give a huge shout out to Freewell for, which is really amazing that they did this, is you can see on the back of these lenses, there are these screws here. So what this is for is if in the future Samsung ever changes their camera array uh, to something else, instead of buying this whole kit all over again because you need lenses, all you need to do is just detach the lens from this frame and then just buy the new frames from Freewell that will be compatible with the new camera array. And that's going to save you a whole lot of money. So huge, huge shout out to Freewell for thinking about that and really thinking about the consumer and helping you save money. Now you also get this little grip right here that you can attach to your phone. And this is really nice just because it makes just holding your phone and walking around and taking pictures a lot more comfortable. You get this nice little grip and it even has this shutter button. And what's really cool is you can even take this out. So if you put your phone on a tripod somewhere, you can just tap on this to take photos if you're not beside your phone. And of course, as you can see, this does also turn and extend so you can use it as a nice little selfie stick. So definitely a cool little gadget that just comes with the whole kit. And it also has these screws so you can attach it to uh, a mount or even add microphones on here for your phone and kind of just make like a whole little setup out of this. And of course, as you're using it, you just attach your lenses and go about your day like a total professional. All right, so now let's talk about some of the lens options that you have. And first, I have this kaleidoscope one with me right here. And what this one will do is just give you that really unique looking kaleidoscope reflective type of image. So if you're trying to shoot some fun video for a project or you just want to get some unique shots, this is definitely a fun lens to do that. Then we have the Galactic Grid and Color Burst Mirage. Now, these ones are really unique because they give you that kind of like starry look anytime you point them at something bright so if you point your camera at the sun you'll see that it gives your sun this kind of like starry look and you can of course turn the lens to adjust it to how you would like or if you're shooting maybe at night or it's getting dark and you have cars driving by all of the lights on the cars will also get the same effect and you have the color burst mirage to do exactly the same thing but just give it a little bit of flair in different colors so it can definitely be really unique depending on your use case and i can definitely see some really fun use cases for these lenses just to spice up the look a little bit all right, so next we have the Diffusion Snow Mist lens. This is the one that I have on my camera right now. And I would even go as far as saying that you can probably keep this on your camera 24 seven, even if you're doing just recreational everyday photography or videography, if you're taking videos or pictures of your dogs or your kids, you can keep this on because what this will do is just soften up your image. Because with these phones, one thing that I don't really like is with all of the software that goes into it and computational photography, it tends to over sharpen and over process the image. So sometimes your photos and videos come out looking really, really sharp and just not very natural. So what this filter will do is just soften up that image and make it look a lot more natural. All right, guys, these next ones are ND filters. And what these will do is limit how much light is coming into your camera. So if you're filming outside on a really bright day, you can slap these on and you can see that these are just magnetic as well. You just put them on and you can see they have this really dark tint to them and it will limit how much light is coming into your camera. Now, you might be wondering why exactly you would need something like this when your phone will automatically adjust the camera settings for shooting outside in bright daylight. Well, the reason is if you are actually serious about photography and you're using the pro video software feature on your camera and you actually want to control the aperture, the ISO and all of the settings when it comes to your camera, 
this has a very very important role you can see i'm at a water park on a really bright day and i'm using my pro video settings on my camera and from here i can control everything like the iso the aperture and the shutter speed and now if you know anything about cameras you're going to want to bring your iso all the way down to as low as possible because iso is artificial light and when you introduce artificial light it can cause your image to be grainy so if you want the best quality image you're going to want to bring your iso all the way as low as it can go so we're going to set it to 50 and now over here you can see for the resolution i selected 4k at 30 frames per second and when it comes to shutter speed you want to double your frame rate so if my frame rate if there is 30 frames per second my shutter speed should be 1 over 60 and this is going to give me the best quality video and I am of course using the ND filter and you can see that everything just looks nice and smooth you can see the water coming down everything looks nice and natural but if I take the ND filter off look what happens look how overexposed this image is everything is just way too bright to see and to fix this image what you're going to need to do is bring the shutter speed all the way down as low as you need it to go to just compensate for how much light is coming into the camera but now if you look at the water everything looks really over processed and over sharpened you kind of lose that nice streak of water you can see that everything just doesn't look as good you can see just the difference that these lenses can make to take your quality from amateur looking to professional looking with these lenses that cost just a fraction of a professional camera all right guys so lastly we got this cinemorphic lens right here and this is a pretty bulky one but essentially what this one will do is give your shot a really wide field of view so if you're going for that really cinematic look with that really ultra wide kind of view and those black bars on the top and bottom this is the perfect lens for that now there's a trick with this lens that you need to know because when you take a video you can see right here it looks really distorted it kind of looks bubbly and the reason for that is you actually need to take it into your editor and just squish it down a little bit to make it nice and wide and you can see when I do that now it looks really nice and we have that really wide field of view and everything just looks really good so again if you're going for that really cinematic look with those black bars on the top and bottom and that really wide field of view this is a really really great lens that can help you achieve that look but there you go guys that's gonna do it for these free well lenses again i am really impressed for the price what this can do to your camera game on your phone because this again is just a fraction of a cost of a full-blown digital dslr camera but it can do so much and give you so many different looks and feels and help you get really great uh, video quality out of your phone especially if you're using pro mode and you know what you're doing and you're playing with the iso and the aperture speed and you want to get it just right all of these filters these lenses they can really help you take your quality to the next level but that's going to do it for this video let me know what you think about these lenses i'll leave links in the description for all of this stuff down below be sure to check it out but that's going to do it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace